All right, in one of the local Facebook groups I'm in, I saw a lot of people talking about a new change at the Folsom Walmart. There's now a checkpoint at the exit where customers will be asked to get their receipt scan before leaving. A bunch of people weighed in on this, some saying, what's the big deal? If you didn't steal anything, just show your receipt. Others said it takes too long or that it's a breach of privacy. And then we saw this. A commenter said, you do not have to stop. There is no law stating as such. So, is that true? Can you just not stop and show your receipt at one of those Walmart checkpoints? Let's verify. To start, we can say that this is happening at the Folsom Walmart and actually at others in the area. Not only did Walmart confirm it, but I went by and saw it happening. Most people got stopped as they were leaving, but not everybody. And that's what seemed to most bother Carmen, a customer we met who said she had recently been stopped and checked, while a few minutes later, her husband was not. And it's almost like you were singling me out for the receipt. Do I look like a thief or what? So this, so to me it was kind of questioning because, you know, um, my husband is white <laughs> and I'm a Hispanic. Now, a Walmart spokesperson told us that their, quote, intent is to check every receipt and that ultimately this policy is to help prevent theft, which helps keep inventory high and prices low, thus keeping customers happy. But that didn't answer our question. Do you have to stop if you don't want to? For that, we went straight to Folsom PD. Sergeant Bates directed us to California Penal Code 490.5, which says a merchant may detain a customer if the merchant has probable cause to believe the person is attempting to unlawfully take merchandise from the store. In short, Bates said, to answer your question directly, a person would not have to stop unless the merchant had probable cause to believe the person had taken merchandise without paying. So with that, we can verify our claim. It's true, you do not have to stop and show your receipt at a Walmart if you don't want to. That said, it's not so simple. I checked in with a local lawyer who has represented clients in these kinds of cases. He made it clear that while there is no provision in the law that requires you to stop, not stopping could give the store that probable cause they need to ask you to stop and detain you. At that point, a lawyer's advice is it's best to just show your receipt and wait it out, don't try to flee. And one more thing, if you're wondering, wait, what about Costco? They do it, do I have to stop there? That's a little bit different because it's a membership service. So if you shop there, you've basically signed onto their terms, which means yes, you must stop. So now you know. All right, do you have something you'd like us to verify? Let us know by texting us at 916-321-3310.